metal skates appeared in the Netherlands in the middle of the 13th century. The bones of animals with straps of leather created the ability of gliding on ice and provided transportation across long distances in winter. By 1763, formal races started in England. First, the skates. The name Axel Paulsen is usually associated with figure skating, but he was also a speed skater. Paulsen was the first skater to use an entirely iron blade. This new blade enabled him to get enough height to hang at a slant on a turn without touching the ice with the side of the shoe. Paulsen's Norwegian compatriot, Harald Hagen, developed the racing skate with a fixed shoe, soon the standard skate. Norway, along with Sweden, would become ongoing powerhouses in the sport. At the very first ISU Congress in 1892, it was decided to have four races, the so-called big all-round combination. The skater who won three or four distances would be named world champion. The most difficult decision was whether to use the British system of yards and miles or the European metric system. The latter was chosen and the distances of the four races established. 500 meters, 1500 meters, 5,000 meters, and 10,000 meters. It was also decided that competitors would race in pairs for time against the clock. The first official world championships in speed skating under the auspices of the ISU was held in 1893 and was won by 19-year-old Jaap Eden, the hometown kid from the Netherlands. He skated his famous world records outside on an 800-meter track. One of the first stadiums built specially for speed skating was in 1901, the 400-meter Frogner Stadium in Oslo. The Frogner Stadium was home rink of Oscar Matheson, five-time world champion and the dominant skater preceding World War I. The significance of Matheson in the development in speed skating is emulated through the Skating Oscar, the prestigious prize presented to the best male or female skater of the season. As early as 1905, mass start indoor speed skating competitions on an oval or short track had begun in North America. Speed skating was included in the very first Olympic Winter Games in 1924. Europeans and Americans would finally meet on the ice in Chamonix. Europeans like Finnish Klaas Tunberg and Norwegian Ivar Ballengrud dominated the classic long track skating during the late 1920s and 1930s, winning between them nine world titles and a total of 13 Olympic medals. The North Americans practiced pack style rules with heats and finals on all distances. At the 1932 Olympics, the organizers announced that the pack style with a mass start over a single track would apply. A hit with spectators, but a style that would not resurface in ISU competition until the 1970s. In 1936, Stockholm had the honor of hosting the first official world championships for ladies. The event included competitors from Canada, Finland, Norway, Switzerland, Japan, the United States, and Sweden. After the Second World War, the ISU World Championships was brought back in 1947. Soviet ladies like Maria Isakova and Inga Artanamova instantly took the lead in speed skating during the late 1940s. For the next two decades, they won every world title from their first appearance in 1948 through 1966 except for 1951, when they did not compete. Soviet men followed the ladies' lead and many strong skaters emerged during this time, such as Oleg Goncharenko. In 